Okay, thanks a lot. Welcome back to the Fit Rep series brought to you by the Commission Officer's Guide. Uh, today we're going to go through the second video in the series and dive a little bit deeper into the fitness report as well as the performance summary report. My ad, but I tell you, it was a, uh, I didn't know a whole lot and I'm going to help you guys learn um, so that you don't, uh, you don't experience the same the same trouble. Before that first fit rep comes up, you're going to want to determine your reporting senior's cumulative average, known as RSCA, as previously mentioned. There are a couple of ways to find it. A previous officer's performance summary report is available there. Um, they'll be able to see what your RSCA for your current rank is. The second way to figure out what their RSCA is to visit your command admin, uh, though they're typically not going to release it to you. In, in small commands, you can go ask your senior directly and they may not give it to you either. So you're gonna be best off to find a peer that has worked for that commanding officer in that assignment uh, within a, a year or two of you getting your fit rep from that officer in order to ask them what that officer's Reporting Senior Cumulative Average, the RCA is. Now, I'll assume that you're familiar with the Fit Rep layout and all the fields within the NAVPERS form 1610-2. That's what we just looked at. If not, go Google it and, and watch content about the NAVPERS form 1610-2. Once you're comfortable, return here and follow along as I link the fitness report to the discussion about the Performance Summary Report, the PSR. And this is the... This is, this is important. This is, the, this is the real skinny on what you need to know with regards to your fit reps and what your fit reps are telling promotion boards about you. All right, before we begin, go ahead and print a copy of, of your PSR and a Navy fit rep from online. So go grab a, a general performance summary report and a Navy fit rep uh, from the internet. Print it out and then have it, have it there at your table so you can take notes as we go. Because this is this is interactive. If if I'm just the one doing the talking and you're not you're not writing down notes, you're never going to remember everything it is that I'm trying to to train you on. And you need to learn this one for yourself and two for the junior officers you're going to be leading in the future. All right. So now we're going to take an overview of performance summary report, the PSR, which is a compilation of your fitness reports. Each row of the PSR corresponds to an individual fit rep from your time in service. The board views this document along with a few other during the boards. This document rolls up elements from your fit rep fields so the board members can identify trends. Okay, as you can see here, this is the performance summary report. And this is a fabricated record for training use only, as you can see here. Uh, it is a compilation of your fitness reports. So each row represents one fitness report from your time in service. For the young officers out there, you're going to either have a blank one right now or one from a previous fit rep that you had at your first training assignment. So the board views this document along with a few others during boards. The, the PSR rolls up elements from your fit rep fields so the board members can identify trends. Trends are what you must control to remain competitive against your competition in your line or staff core designator. Uh, so you can see here, and I'm going to show you one of my personal PSRs. There you go. I began as a student in my first training assignment in the duty column field. And it, it aligns with field 29 right here, field 29 on the fit rep. You see? Another note while we're on the fit rep, you want to try to fill out this description for block 29 as much as possible. Early on during your training command assignments, uh, the administration there is going to fill it in for you. But once you get to your first operational assignment, 
and then follow on staff assignments. Fill this up with primary collateral and watch standing duties, right? The less white space, the better on a lot of this stuff. So make sure that you are capturing the good work that you are doing.